everyone. Sherry from Granny Sewing Room stopping in to just say hi and thank all my new subscribers. And just gonna just chat a little bit what's going on here uh, this week with me. So I'm getting real close to wanting to uh, start a quilt. So the winter or the weather starts changing a little bit, getting cold, and uh, something that you know how our body goes through. It's time to bake, it's time to sew, it's time, so I'm getting in that mode, I can see. But here's the quilt I'm going to try to get done for a Christmas present. And it is Trade Winds by Cozy Quilt Design. And so I'm going to try to start working on that, which is a very easy quilt. Here's a jelly roll I got. It's going to be for a guy. And the jelly roll came with a kit, which I thought I would try to sew, but that was like four years ago. And it's just, it's a tumbling block, and I'm just not capable of doing all them Y scenes. Probably capable, but not wanting to. Uh, I want something fast, fun, and be done. You know, you feel like you've accomplished something and it doesn't take forever and you get to press and set it down. So that's one thing I'm working on. Uh, my chickens are doing great. My grandbaby is coming to spend the night with me tonight. So I will be showing some pictures of her maybe gathering up eggs in this video. So this video is going to have a couple little uh, inserts in it I'm sure. Uh, now my eggs, my chickens, yesterday only two of them laid, the day before four of them laid, but two were not edible because the shells were too soft. Uh, today so far at 8.30 in the morning, one laid, and it was a good egg, a pretty jumbo egg. So they are doing better, and I get a little frustrated, think I should be getting six eggs a day, but well, I can only eat one egg a day, so I should be just feeling blessed that I have chickens that soothe me and do provide me an egg and an excitement to go out checking on eggs during the day. So, well, here are my eggs from yesterday and the day before. And when I get them, I just throw a little number on them so I know this was uh, yesterday's egg. Let me see. I got three eggs yesterday and then uh, this one we didn't number because those were the ones we were eating. I ate one and my husband ate one. They are starting to get bigger so they will be jumbo eggs once they get used to laying and uh, I haven't had any real soft ones yet uh, since last week so woohoo! But it's going to be fun getting six eggs a day. It's like uh, going Easter egg hunting, looking for eggs. So, but okay, here are my eggs, and I thought I would share. If I showed you my new wig, because my hair's just horrible, I need it cut. But I don't want to go and wear a mask. I get anxiety attacks happen to keep mask on so that's not for me I'll sit here and wait and that's why I got chicken so I didn't have to go nowhere to enjoy just my chickens so here's the wig in case I didn't show you my head it's a Paula Young wig I wore it once and I'll put a video of it with me modeling it for you but I wore it once I like that length uh, I, my glasses get stuck on the wig part right here and it just it feels it's uncomfortable I'm insecure in it so I guess I won't be wearing a wig this is me until I can go get my hair cut and probably colored because I colored it here first of the summer I think I did a red and I really like that so I think I'll be doing that again All right, here's my new hairstyle. I even put makeup on. Let's see if I can get close enough. Oh, turn it around. Maybe 
I can't turn it around. All right, let's see. My new hair stop. Little short. Let's go to the back and see if we can see the back. So what do you think? You like the color? You like the style? Let me know what y'all think. I kind of like it. Just got to get used to it. And it's a wig in case you didn't know. I We ordered a deep freeze since I uh, raised some meat birds. We ended up with 12 uh, 6 pound, 7 pound, 5 pound meat birds. Uh, chickens, whole chickens. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I cooked one the other night and it was so good, so tender. And I was worried that, uh, you know, they weren't going to be very good. But they were very good. Uh, actually better than store-bought, you know, uh, the tenderness and the taste of them. So I know some people don't agree with raising your animals for food, but uh, I do believe we're on the top of the food chain, and I like to know if I possibly can where my food comes from, what they're injecting in it, and uh, so I'm just starting this little uh, adventure of being a little homesteader somewhat because I've been canning for quite some time, and we don't use chemicals on our vegetables, so I do I do can so. But we got a deep freeze. And the young kids that carried it in for me, as they're carrying it in the door, the young one, one of the young ones said, uh, what do you got this for? I said, well, we want to put some beef in it. And, uh, he said, why? I said, uh, to eat. And then they proceeded to take my uh, deep freeze where it needed to be. And both of them started complaining about, why don't I try to be a vegetarian? Why would I want to kill animals? Why would I, you know, then they finally said, you don't kill your dog to eat your dog. Why would you do that to another animal? And finally, I just said, because... I feel I'm on top of the food chain and I get to have the pleasures of eating of this. But if you don't want to eat it, I have nothing against you. You eat what you want. But they were adamant about trying to get me to go vegetarian and almost said, well, then take the deep freeze back and tell your boss why uh, I, I decided I didn't want it because you, you guys made me feel so bad. But anyway... That was kind of cute, you know, that they had their opinion. I let them speak it. They got, one of them got kind of snotty and just uh, laid the paper down on the table and walked out. Wouldn't talk to me no more. He couldn't get me to go vegan or vegetarian. So I'm not a big meat eater. My husband is. I'm more vegetables, but uh, I think everyone has a right to choose, period. Has anyone told you you're special today? If not, let me be the first because you are in God's eyes. Isn't that great? You know, uh, as I read my Bible, my morning routine is, and I thought I'd share this with you, I call it my vitamins for the day. Today's the 29th, so I will start in Psalms 29. Then I add 30 to uh, 29, so would it make it 59? So I read Psalms 59. When I'm done with that, I add 30 to it, which would make it Psalms 89. So I get through all the Psalms in a month. If you add 30 to each each day that you are reading, and then I go over to uh, the Proverbs, uh, Proverb 29. So that kind of gives you uh, your wisdom and praise to God and prayer, because I think Psalms can be used as prayer a lot. So I think... Uh, 
I call that my vitamin a day. You know, it's filling me up with everything I need for the day. And then in the evening or during the day or something, if you read your Bible, that's when I read my uh, uh, gospel, you know, Luke, Mark, John, Ephesians, those type of books. Uh, but that's that's kind of how I start my day, is my devotion will be uh, the Psalms a day and then my Proverbs for the day. So thought that I would share that with you. That's how I do that. Oh, I will let you go. I will be putting some inserts uh, of my grandbaby getting eggs, of me modeling my wig. I got to find them. They're on my other camera. And uh, I just want to thank everybody for joining my and commenting on my videos. Uh, if there's anything you want to know or ask or have me do or attempt to do, I only say attempt, uh, just leave it in the comments and I certainly will. So you guys have a good day. Go out, do something creative, or just stay home and be creative. But uh, just just have a blessed and safe day. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, do me a favor if you would. Would you please hit the like button? I guess that helps me on YouTube, hitting that thumbs up. And uh, if you subscribe, you will be notified. Uh, if you share my uh, videos, that would also help me to get somebody to join my uh, YouTube channel but uh, thank you so much I'm looking forward to going to get a haircut pretty soon and uh, maybe working on getting some of this COVID weight off because uh, I I got quite a bit of it on me right now so hoping my niece starts uh, doing some quilting with me if not I guess I got to just say you're on your own and enjoy your not your loneliness I guess enjoy being alone because there's a difference enjoying being alone or being alone or being lonely did I say that right you know I I do good at being alone I don't like the feeling of feeling lonely in which we all do at times so but all right you guys thank you for watching and uh till next time have a great and blessed day Bye, all. These are going to be the strip sets. And you use the same uh, number of three because you sew three strip sets together in this jelly roll. Throw, sew three together, and then the next strip set is sew two together. And you use the same amount of uh, strip sets for each. But with the two strip sets, we will be using... I don't know if you can see it. Background fabric. And this will be my background fabric. It's kind of a tan beige with some lines going through it. So I thought that would match up good with this on there. I thought those would show up good. So I will show you a little bit of my sewing. When I get in the mood to sew, I just, I just sew. The part I don't like about most jelly rolls is it's got a fringe edge. And over at Donna Jordan's, that, uh, Jordan's fabric, she says go to the inside of the uh, fringe, not on the outside of the fringe. That is your fourth. So you don't stretch it. You just kind of hold on to it without stretching. And open her up and add another one to this. If I can get it open. She kind of finger presses all hers. I guess it just, I think she pre finger presses these all away from the inner seam and I'm doing it wrong already. So I'll have to watch that again. But I am not going to worry about finger pressing at this moment. 
just going to grab another strip set and add it on. spent a day sewing your strip sets together. The next day cut them up. And I like to use my card. to do my piecing. So there's one th strip set. But I am not going to finger press because I'm thinking she's going away from the center. So I'm going to leave it like that. And then I'm just going to pick up more and continue to go. There's the set. Oh, I got. I should just set them all in my lap here. She has her stitch length on a low stitch length because you cut into these so much. And uh, straighten them out as we go without stretching. bug bites me real good, I might get two quilts done. I have another strip set and would like to make uh, another quilt for some. My goal is to try to get as many family members as I can a quilt made before I'm gone. Because I put a personal little tag in the back of them with their name and their aunt or their grandma's name. So there's something of me left. Not looking to go anytime soon, but I will be going. And let's go here. I am literally not going to pick colors here. Just put them in here randomly. Now Jenny Sews and Jenny Sewing Room, she is going to be viewing a new steam iron, a generator steam iron, and I can't wait to find out because I am wanting to get a nice iron. But I don't want to get another uh, Rowenta because they always end up leaking on me. And I just, I can't justify to keep spending money for a year for iron. And it's going to end up leaking if, you know, be no good. are sewing up nicely and I got that light coming in the window. Huh. 
All right, two's done. <clears throat> All right, I'll just keep going for a little while, and then when I get on to my next step, so I'm going to make three, uh, I don't know what the pattern says how many, but I'm going to make the same equal amounts of three strip sets to the two strip sets because I sew the background and I cut it into a strip set and sew that onto the two strip sets. And then I will cut all my triangles out and I will show you that process when I start doing that. So uh, I hope I can't see my camera. I hope I've got it recorded pretty good. So all right everyone. I will be back or put more inserts into this video.